We're at the snapper trailer business where at least one bullet hit a trailer here. Thankfully, the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office says that nobody was hurt, but that shooter is still out there. I mean, it just it was like boom, 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 boom. It was fast. I mean, it just kept going. Gunfire rang out in Fort Pierce on Sunday along Orange Avenue. I've never had any issues. I've lived here for 17 years. And I've never, ever seen anything like that in my entire life. The woman on the phone who didn't want to be identified for fear of her safety was outside of snapper trailers with her husband the moment the shooter drove by. I think we were both pretty shocked. And then when we realized it was guns, we ducked down behind our motorcycles and um, and waited for him to drive off. She says shell casings hit her neck as she dodged bullets coming from what she says was a black SUV. Whoever they were after, or whatever their rampage was, it's like, you know, don't take it out on innocent people on the side of the road. St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office says that the car drove down Orange Avenue and neighbors tell me it turned onto 39th Street, still firing its weapons in a part of the neighborhood that has young children. And all that started, I thought it was firecrackers to so start coming up closer and closer. Alan Bithwood says he was home with his 15 and 8 year old children. The three taking cover on the ground during the gunfire. I'd be worried about a stray bullet hitting somebody and killing them. That, that'd be my main concern right there. And I'd be like, uh, I said, why are they doing this? The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office says that this is still an active investigation, but asks anyone with information to call the Treasure Coast Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. Reporting in Fort Pierce, Joel Lopez, WPTV. News Channel 5.